Kella audience bevis jõu happines and prosperiti. Editor Mari Vuld like to welcome you for visiting me channel and here is the official news. Let us see. One, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck seen kissing. Holding hands during brunch with kids amid divorce Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck were seen together at brunch with their children at the Beverly Hills Hotel, despite their ongoing divorce. They were spotted holding hands and kissing at the polo lounge, while their kids sat at a separate table. The couple engaged in what appeared to be a serious conversation in a parked car. Lopez wore a black crop top and flared jeans, while Affleck opted for a blue button-down shirt and jeans. Notably, Lopez wore her engagement ring on her pinky and a Jennifer ring on her wedding finger. Their children, including Affleck's two and Lopez's twins, were also present. 2. Lauren Sanchez Jeff Bezos sit cage side for UFC date night in Vegas Sphere. Hours after her NJ debut book signing Lauren Sanchez and her fiancé Jeff Bezos attended the UFC's debut event at the Sphere in Las Vegas. Coinciding with the celebration of Sanchez's new children's book, the couple sat cageside, with Sanchez sharing highlights of the event on social media, including a glimpse of fighters in action and the venue's impressive 360-degree screen. She posted a photo with Bezos, expressing their enjoyment of the night. The event, known as UFC 306 or Noche UFC, was a significant occasion that took months of preparation. 3. Nikki Garcia's twin sister, Brie, reportedly encouraged her to leave Artem Chigvintsev. Any violence does not fly, Brie Bella has reportedly encouraged her sister Nikki to leave her marriage to Artem Chigvintsev following his recent domestic violence arrest. A source revealed that Nikki, 40, and Chigvintsev, 42, are currently living apart due to the incident, which left Nikki feeling scared for herself and her son. Chigvintsev was arrested on August 29 in Napa Valley, California, on a felony charge and released on $25,000 bail the same day. Friends of the couple noted that their marriage had been volatile, and Nikki filed for divorce about a week after the arrest. 4. How Selena Gomez Battled Bieber Heartbreak to Become an Emmy-Nominated Billionaire in Love Selena Gomez is Experiencing Significant Success Recently being listed on Bloomberg's Billionaire Index with a net worth of $1.3 billion, attributed to her rare beauty line and mental health startup Wondermine. She is also rumored to be engaged to music producer Benny Blanco. Gomez is set to star in her first Spanish-speaking role as a Mexican drug lord's wife in the upcoming musical drama, Amelia Perez. Additionally, she received her first Emmy nomination for acting and her third nomination as a producer for Only Murders in the Building, making her the first Latina to achieve this record. In the series, she plays Mabel Mora, a true crime podcaster. 5. Britney Spears celebrates her son's birthdays with throwback photos. Hope you get all your wishes Britney Spears celebrated her son's birthdays by sharing throwback photos on Instagram. She wished Sean Preston, who turned 19, and Jaden James, who turned 18, a happy birthday, expressing hope that they get all their wishes. Spears humorously questioned why they were all looking up in one of the photos. The pop star shares her children with ex-husband Kevin Fadeline, and they have been working on rebuilding their relationship after a period of estrangement due to the teen's concerns about her social media presence.
6. Is this Taylor Swift's favorite perfume? At the 2024 VMAs, Taylor Swift hinted at her signature scent while speaking with drag queen Zunami Muse, who complimented her fragrance. Swift mentioned it was by Tom Ford, leading fans to speculate that she uses Tom Ford's Centaur Blush. A scent that appeared in her 2020 documentary, Miss Americana. This woodsy fragrance features notes of cinnamon bark oil, lang lang, and Australian sandalwood, aligning with Swift's folklore era. David Letterman previously noted in 2010 that she smelled like expensive wood. 7. Justin Timberlake pleads guilty to lower offense in Hampton's DWI case Justin Timberlake pleaded guilty to an impaired driving violation stemming from a DWI case in June. A judge imposed a $500 fine, required him to complete 25 hours of community service, and mandated his participation in a public service announcement about the dangers of drunk driving. Timberlake expressed regret for his actions, stating he did not meet his own standards and acknowledged the need for better judgment. He described the incident as a mistake and urged others to learn from it emphasizing that even one drink should prevent someone from driving. 8. Ben Affleck was seen kissing Matt Damon's wife, Luciana Barroso, on the head in Los Angeles while heading to a meeting. Amid his ongoing divorce, Affleck, 52, was dressed in a navy suit, while Barroso, 48, wore a black pantsuit. This moment followed a week after Damon, 53, was photographed holding hands with Jennifer Lopez during a conversation at the Toronto International Film Festival, where Affleck was absent. Lopez, 55, attended the event in a revealing silver dress, leading to speculation that she may have removed her tattoo tribute to Affleck. 9. Who did Taylor Frankie Paul swing with? The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives scandal explained Taylor Frankie Paul. A star from The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives recently discussed her swinging scandal on Nick Vile's podcast. She revealed that she and her ex-husband engaged in soft swinging with other Mormon influencer friends, describing their relationship as open. The situation began spontaneously during a party where the men encouraged the women to kiss, which led to further intimate activities at subsequent gatherings. Paul noted that this behavior felt familiar to her from her younger years and was not a significant issue for her.